Hey guys, what is up? What's good? It's your girl Ashley and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is breaking it, breaking it, breaking it down for you. Uh, that was very uncalled for. I don't even know why I did that. But I'm going to be filming a full on glam fall makeup look using all drugstore products. All the makeup that I'm wearing on my face. There's a lot of makeup. I had a lot of fun creating it though. And honestly, I originally was supposed to be sitting down filming a all drugstore back to school makeup look, but I don't even know what happened. I got a little bit carried away and this is what I came up with, but I'm really digging it. If you guys are digging it too, then give the video a thumbs up. Peek my fireplace in the back, just chilling, very, very casual. You know what, I was like, you know what? I just wanna get in the mood and I decided to go on YouTube, type in fireplace, and then I just put it on my computer screen while I film. So I really like it. Maybe I'll do it more often, I don't know. Um, I'm rambling now, so we're just gonna go ahead and get into the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, let's do this thing, motherfucker. Mm. All right, you guys, you know the drill. I'm gonna first start off by moisturizing my lips before anything. Today, I am using the Vaseline Lip Therapy Lip Balm. After that, I'm gonna go in and start priming my face. Today, I'm using the Baby Skin Face Primer by Maybelline. I really like it because it is a pore eraser, so it's really gonna diminish the appearance of slightly enlarged pores. So I'm gonna put this in all of those areas, and as you can see, I have a rather large pimple there, but we're just gonna ignore that. Um, moving on, I'm gonna go in with foundation. I am using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation, which I did a full on review on. So I will link that down below if you guys are interested in it. What I like to do is brush it on with a foundation uh, brush, and then I'll go in with my beauty blender and further blend it into my skin and I like to use a damp beauty blender because it really helps even out that product so that we have a really nice airbrushed kind of like flawless finish. After that, I'm gonna start on my brows. One of my all-time favorite brow products in the drugstore definitely has to be the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. What I like to do is go in with a very light shade towards the very front of my brows. And then for the tail of my brow, I will go in with a slightly darker shade. And I will link my brow shades down below. Next, I'm going to prime my eyelids. I am using the NYX eyeshadow base to do this. And what I like to do is take that primer directly underneath my brow to sharpen everything up. Then for shadow, I'm going in with the L'Oreal LA Palette. I'm taking the shimmery kind of like off-white color and I'm placing it right underneath my brow bone. Then going in with Matte Eyes Eyeshadow Palette, I'm gonna take this matte white eyeshadow and I'm gonna set my eyeshadow base, making it a lot easier for all of the shadows to blend. Then going in with kind of like this soft brown shade, I'm putting it all over my lid with a very kind of like stiff synthetic brush and I'm just packing it on there. Once I get it to my crease, I'm gonna use a, I don't even know what number this is, but I'm gonna use this fluffy brush to blend out any harsh edges, which is super important in any makeup look. Then I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Matte Eyes Eyeshadow Palette once again, and I'm taking this really deep, kind of like brown color, and I'm packing it directly over top to kind of intensify the look, really going for a little bit more of like an all matte, blown out brown, kind of like smoky eye, but not too intense, if that makes any sense. Guys, I actually remember the name. I'm going in with the Morphe 433 brush and I'm taking this into my crease and I'm further blending out that product and I'm blending it upwards so that way there is a really nice seamless transition. Now, since I wanted this look to be a little bit more smoky, I decided to go in with a little bit more of a deeper brown and I just smudged this closest to my lash line and then I brought it up slightly into the crease and I did this by further blending with my Morphe M433 brush with a tad bit of product. We don't want it to be too dark, but we also don't want it to be too light. Next up, I'm going in with my tried and true gel liner by Maybelline. This is their iStudio gel liner in blackest black. Probably one of the best gel liners I have ever used in the drugstore. And I really like it because it's super black, it's super creamy, and let me tell you, the wing on my eye will cut you, okay? <laughs> Now, after lighting my eyes, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Super Shock Eyeshadow in the shade Cheap Date, which is this really pretty gold color. And I took some of that shadow and I mixed it in with a little bit of eye drops on an angled brush. And I placed the shadow directly over top of the black liner in the very inner one half of the eyelid. I really wanted to go for more of an gradient eyeliner, so it goes from gold to black. It does take a little bit, but the end result is absolutely stunning. 
Then for mascara, I just applied a slight coat of mascara to my lashes and I use the NYX Double Stack Mascara. I only use the first part. I didn't use the fiber lashes or anything like that because you guys know me. It's not a makeup look without false lashes. So today I decided to go in with the Coco Lashes and the Style Goddess, which are probably my absolute favorite lashes from the site. Outside of Misha, Misha is top one, Goddess is top two. Now moving back to the face, I'm going in with Maybelline Better Skin Concealer and I am using the shade Light. I really like to use a slightly lighter shade directly underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and also my forehead. This is really going to kind of brighten up the whole face and since I am doing like a full on like glam fall makeup look, I really just want it to even out the eyes and have a very nice kind of like bright under eye but not too intense. I like to just blend this out with a brush and then I will go in with a damp beauty blender to further blend the product into my skin. And I just feel like this makes it look really airbrushed, very seamless, very like, bam. You get me? I know someone gets me. After that, I'm just setting my under eyes and I'm not baking my under eye area. I'm just slightly dusting some of the Airspun loose face powder directly underneath my eyes, bridge my nose, cupid's bow, chin and forehead pretty much all the areas of my face where I applied the concealer. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm going right back into the matte eyeshadow palette by e.l.f. and I took that kind of like brownish sienna color and I smudged it on my lower lash line with a flat definer brush and I further blended it out with a pencil brush. This is really gonna give it a nice kind of like smoky look, which is exactly what we're going for. And to really make sure there are no gaps under my lower lash line, I took a deeper color and I just pushed it very, very close to my lower lash line. After that, I just did a little bit of tight lining with a little bit of the L'Oreal Silhouette uh, tight lining pencil. And I really like this because it's super creamy. And one thing I definitely recommend is not to skip this, especially if you are going for more of a dramatic look because it makes the eyes look a little bit more complete and a little bit more smoky. Then to tight line my lower lash line, I decided to go in with something new to make the eyes pop. And this is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Nude Liner, which I absolutely love. Moving on, I'm just topping off my lower lashes with a little bit of the Double Stack Mascara by NYX. And for the rest of my face powder, I went in with a new product that I am trying out. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte Face Powder. And I love it, and I probably love the brush that I'm using a lot more. This is the e.l.f. Uh, Kabuki brush, which I recently got in the mail, and it is so freaking soft, guys. Like, definitely pick this thing up. For contour, I did use another product that I've never used before, and this is the Pixi Book of Beauty uh, Contouring Book. I did use a slightly lighter shade on my temples and also to, you know, carve out the cheekbones I don't have. And this always works wonders. Contouring can always work in your favor, especially if you have a rounder face or a slightly fatter face like this girl right here. For highlight today, I am using this gem right here, which I found in my makeup drawer. I bought it a while ago and I never used it until recently. And oh my God, this is the Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette. And holy schnitzel guys, this is the motherfucking tits. Like I freaking love it. Like you will be glowing from outer space. You will look like a glazed donut and you, just, you, you know, your highlight would just be amazing. So pick this up, Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette. I want to say it was like four bucks. $4, you can't really beat it. Mm. You guys know me, I'm further highlighting on the tip of my nose, but that was a little bit too intense. So I took my Morphe brush and I kind of blended it out a little bit. I also took this on my Cupid's bow and I also popped a little bit in the very inner corner of my eyes because this is really going to draw light and make your eyes just look Amazing, really amazing. For my lips, I did decide to go in with the ColourPop Lip Pencil in LBB, which comes off a little bit more magenta, but it's totally okay. I just use this as a guide so that way my lipstick doesn't go everywhere because if I don't use a lip liner, it can get pretty bad. So if you're like me, definitely use a lip liner because it really helps when applying your lipstick. 
For lipstick, today I am using the Maybelline Loaded Bold Smoking Red. And holy shit, this is my first time using Loaded Bolds, and I will say that they're extremely creamy, extremely pigmented, and this one is one of my faves. And I think it really just brings the look together, and I really love it. Alright you guys, so that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys did like it, give it a big thumbs up so that way I know. Honestly, I had a blast kind of like sitting down in like my very old state of filming makeup tutorials because when I was like at my mom's house, I filmed makeup tutorials all the time and this just kind of took me back to that place and I really had a lot of fun. So if you guys want to see any other makeup tutorials, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Like send me inspirational photos, whatever it is that you guys want on Twitter, Instagram, all that jazz. Jazz. I'm very active on snapchat too in case you guys didn't know and I also wanted to remind you guys of my Tampa Florida meetup which is happening this Saturday from 3 to 5 p.m. so it's on August the 13th in Tampa Florida at Kate McKenzie Close in Dale Mabry and we're gonna have giveaways it's gonna be a pretty awesome time I'm having a meetup with my friend Danielle Marie here on YouTube I'll have my official meetup video right here where I announce it in case you guys miss that and you want to come to the meetup and meet me in Tampa Florida hey I would love that. I'm from Tampa, Florida, in case you guys didn't know. Um, and yeah, I don't have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all in the next one. Deuces! <laughs>